everyone, my name is Keely Mason. This is my first semester in the graduate program. And as I explained last week, I'll be taking you through my student journey each week. So congratulations on making it through your first week of the program. That's a huge feat. It's been a bit of a whirlwind week for me, just getting back into the groove of student life, but I've really enjoyed having the space and time to read the literature and discuss it with you all. Um, and one of the things that's come forward for me this week is the importance of having, um, of finding a space where you feel inspired to work and create. So uh, this is one of the spaces I feel really inspired in, finding a place with large windows, lots of natural light, and being able to see the trees and the sky is really important and has increased my productivity, well-being, and creativity. I also encourage you to find a place that's really comfortable. Um, but not too comfortable, as you probably know by now, we have a lot of reading and a lot of writing to get through. Uh, so those are my thoughts this week, and I'm really looking forward to going through this journey with you each week. Camilo will be explaining a little bit about his student perspective as a former MA student, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, Keely. Hi everyone, I'm Camilo. As Keely mentioned, I'm a former graduate student at the Center for Arts and Medicine. I earned my master's back in the spring 2018 and so for the next few weeks I'm going to be providing some tips as a former student to help you along your journey. Today I want to talk about the syllabus. One thing that I really found helpful was not just downloading the syllabus but trying to incorporate it in my daily workflow in a way that was really easy for me to remember all of my deadlines and due dates. So one thing that I like to do is I like to use my phone calendar app to keep track of all my assignments. So I actually put in everything that I have due um, for the whole semester right on the first week. Um, and then that way I, I have reminders that let me know, hey, this is due coming up soon. I usually do one or two days ahead um, for simpler tasks. And then for more complicated assignments, I'll put a few alerts a week or two ahead. Um, other people like to use their Gmail or Outlook calendars online. Uh, my friend Shiksu likes to use her daily agenda. It's a planner on paper, um, and that's really useful too. So basically make it really easy for you to keep track of all of your assignments, um, and hopefully that helps you out um, for the rest of your semester and for your future semesters as well. So tune back in next week for another student journey update, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, everyone.